Hi, my name is Casey Haynes and this is Eigenvalues and Eigenvectors in Biomedical Engineering. So Biomedical Engineering applies engineering and design concepts to medicine and biology, with namely medical machines and things of that nature, and it has many roots in physics, and eigenvalues play a big part in physics. Matrices have many applications in the science and engineering fields. They have applications in control theory, vibration analysis, circuits, dynamics, and quantum mechanics, which are all very useful to engineers, and eigenvalues are a huge part of matrices. So the thing we're going to focus on is control theory. Control theory explains the behavior of dynamical systems with inputs. Changes to the inputs of the system can be made to alter the desired outcomes. Outputs send feedback to input actuators, which can automatically alter the inputs if outcome isn't desired. This is useful in the creation of medical devices that monitor heart rates, heart palpitations, and drug delivery machines. So drug delivery machines, you know, you might need eigenvalues to determine the time period of a certain dose of a drug that's being given to a patient or, you know, how the level of dosage that's being given. And the outputs can send feedback to the input, actu excuse me, input actuators to, you know, make this happen. So eigenvalues can be used to determine the number of solutions to the polynomial equation p of lambda is equal to zero, which is something very useful in control theory to determine unknowns for time variables, like I was just talking about with the drug delivery. If we need, we need eigenvalues to determine the time variables for drug dosage and things like that. So we can use the diagonalization of a matrix and powers of a square matrix. So diagonalization, again, remember A is equal to PDP inverse, so we have a matrix with distinct eigenvalues such as 1, 2, 1, 0 and the eigenvector, er, eigenvalues for that would be negative 1 and 2 and then we can use the eigenvalues to find the P of the matrix and then find the inverse of the matrix and that would give us our equation or our formula. Once this is done we can use our new formula to find the powers of A which are also useful in control theory if we wanted to further examine the use of drug delivery. So thank you for watching.